SWGA Sickle Cell Awareness YouTube channel. I'm patient advocate Monica. If you're visiting for the first time, welcome. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the tribe. Today's video is sponsored by Augusta University Center for Blood Disorders Outreach Clinic. Today's video is about why am I on Droxia, the warning labels on my medication, and is this a lifetime treatment? Let's get into the 2013, I was hospitalized. And during my hospitalization, I was diagnosed with sickle cell beta thalassemia and congestive heart failure. After I was released from the hospital, I began to see an outreach sickle cell specialist out of Augusta, Georgia. And what he did for me for my treatment option, he prescribed for me Droxia hydrorea. Let me tell you what Droxia hydrorea is for. It reduces the frequency of pain crisis. It also reduces the need for blood transfusion in adult sickle cell anemia patients with reoccurring moderate to severe painful crisis. These pain crises occur at least three times a year. What my doctor has prescribed for me is 1,600 milligrams of hydroxyurea. But before I take droxyurea, I take promethazine. I take promethazine 30 minutes before I take hydrorea, droxia. I want people to see the caution and warning labels that's on the medication that I take. I want you to see that. Another thing that I want people to see is that I have to wash my hands when handling this medicine because it's hazardous. Another instructions with handling this medicine is I have to wear gloves. I'm going to be honest, very honest and transparent. When I was first prescribed this medicine, I did not want to take it. I did not want to take it because I didn't want to live with the idea and the concept that I'm on chemotherapy. So I didn't I didn't want to take it. It, it. it took a minute for me to take it and I just didn't want to take it. I, I didn't want to take it, but I know the benefits outweighed what I was thinking. And after talking to my mom for a while about it, and talking to my medical team about it, they were like, Monica, because you experienced severe pain crisis, you really, really need to take this medicine and it'll help you manage your painful crisis. So after talking to my medical team and talking to my mom about it, I did start taking the medicine and I was prescribed in the morning and I was telling my doctor, I was like, I don't like taking it in the morning because it makes me sleepy. So he was like, Monica, that's fine. We'll change you to the night. Take it at night. I said, okay, I can do that. Now I do take it because I do take it at night at bedtime. When dealing with chemotherapy, they do often do labs. They often have to do urine testing as well as blood um, testing. So often they check your blood as well as they check your urine to make sure the medicine is working. If it's not working, do they need to make adjustments? And this medication is based off of your weight. So they may increase your dosage, they may reduce your dosage. It depends on what's going on. If you learn anything from this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up Make sure you share this video with other people that you know that is taking chemotherapy, whether it is by mouth or whether they're taking it intravenously at a cancer center. Make sure you share this video with them because I understand what they're going through. I understand what they're experiencing. So that will be very important for you to share this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell, because I will be doing uploads on Tuesdays and Thursdays to this channel about being an oncologist hematology patient. Also in the comment section, if you know someone that is on chemotherapy and they want to share their experience, put their name in the comment section or just comment 
on what do you feel about a person that's on chemotherapy or if you are a chemotherapy person yourself let me know in the comment section what's going on with you and we can have that talk and we can exchange experiences with chemotherapy that would be very interesting to share and know and I might be doing another video on this medication and this prescription and how it's making me feel and the things that I'm doing to come back and improve my health in order to eventually be taken off of this medication because that is a goal of mine. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this video. The million dollar question is Will I be on this treatment for a lifetime? The answer to that question is yes and no. I know that some patients have been on Droxia their entire life. And that's the only medication that they will take and they're going to continue to take because it works for them. Then, on the other hand, I have met patients and patient advocates and warriors who are no longer on droxyhydria because they made some changes in their lifestyle. They changed what they were eating. They changed so many different things that they no longer have to be on hydrorea. And that is one of my goals to make sure my health and my body is in a place where I no longer have to take droxyhydrorea, where I'm no longer experiencing frequent moderate to severe painful crisis. That, that is one of the biggest goals that I have for myself on my health journey. I, I don't have to and I don't want to take hydrorea for the rest of my life. That is my goal and I'm working toward it. That concludes this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Until next time, stay hydrated and stay well. Goodbye. Today's video is sponsored by Augusta University Center for Blood Disorders, whose mission is to improve quality of life for people with blood disorders through comprehensive care, addressing physical, emotional, spiritual, and social needs for patients and their families. They provide comprehensive care services for the treatment of bleeding, clotting disorders, and sickle cell disease. Physicians, nurses, and social workers are available to provide personalized care for sickle cell disease, hemophilia, von Willebrand disease, and thrombophilia. For more information, go to www.augusta.edu.